makes your infinity or your eight. As emergency vehicles flooded the streets, flooded Colorado, anyone? The streets around the complex, a helicopter hovered overhead. Oh, like that. Oh, that alone makes it real. Nearby schools were in lockdown, of course. And airplanes at nearby Reagan National were briefly grounded. This, do you see how many people they affected by this lie? Let's, now, let's keep going. This is all the nonsense, all right? Less than two miles away, security was beefed up. Beefed! That's that. That's beef. Every fucking corner, you're going to see this beef sitting at you with their guns. That's the world you chose to make. That's the world you chose to believe in. And that's the world you're going to get. Liar. Nobody. Freaking gin-filled meat bag. Barack Obama mourned. Of course he did. Because people will weep and wail. And men will beg for death, but it will flee from them. Because there's no real death here. All right, you want real death? Go down to a local cemetery, you sick fuckers. And just sit there in your little fucking broken down piece of shit car and wait for real people at funerals. And then go stand over there and take pictures like a fucking weeping sack of shit that you are. Because that's real, man. That's stuff that's not on the news. You fucking, oh, you zombie scumbag, fucking killers, man. You want death. You, you, you woke up, fucking. Some of you, some of you watched this. When you saw this, you literally fucking broke out into a fucking cold sweat. You were so excited to hear about death. You imagined in your head a, a, a worse scene than these guys could ever make up. In your head, and you're in, in between your fucking little ears, your left and right pillar. You have so much love in there that you filled it up with a bloody scene that never happened. Let's keep going. I already read that shit. Let's keep going. Oh, what's this guy saying? He, he took the life of American Patriots. Shut up! I can't stand that they separate everyone. This guy is no damn different than a guy sitting working at Target or at Walmart or at McDonald's. They're no more different. They're no more worthy than anyone else. All right? I'm sick and tired of these people putting all these, these people on a pedestal. They chose this profession. They're not heroes because of it. All right? Don't become a firefighter and expect me to kiss your fucking ass. Don't become a cop and expect me to kiss your ass. All right?